Now, passport office workers across England, Scotland and Wales are to strike for five weeks. More than a thousand members of the PCS union will take part in the action from early April. The union's warned it is likely to have what it calls a significant impact on the delivery of passports this summer. Uh, well, let's talk about that with the travel and aviation journalist and analyst Sally Gethin, who's with me. Sally, first of all, what sort of industrial action is this? Just talk us through that. Yeah, this is a problem that's been rumbling on for about six months. So the civil servants that uh, staff the passport offices have complained that they're not getting paid enough. Um, the government's offered 2.4%, but they want 10%, and they want better job security. And the government's saying, well, that would cost £2.4 billion. It's unaffordable. So there seems to be an absolute stalemate. And the problem now is that although the strike dates have been announced to start in early April, in fact, in reality, there's industrial action taking place already. There are, uh, you know, staff um, walking out and cancelling appointments, for example. So already this will have an ongoing effect on mm. passport applications. And that is what people are watching this are going to be worried about, aren't they? If, they? if if they need to get a new passport, they've got summer holidays coming up or spring holidays, who knows? You know, what will be the impact on them, do you think? Well, at this point in time, we don't know for sure how it will impact. So at the moment, the government is, is saying it will have contingency plans in place and to allow the requisite uh, 10 weeks um, turnaround time. But of course, that could get extended if and how the government actually manages this potential crisis. Um, and so... For people waiting at home, their, their options normally would be, if they're concerned, to use the passport advice line or go for a fast-track option with their passport. But all of those land in the same um, trouble zone, if you like, with the same workers. So the question is, has the government put in contingency plans that will allow for people to use those hotlines and use those alternative ways to speed their passports up? Right, so we just don't know the answer to that at the moment. But adding to the confusion, actually, because there's several passport offices around the UK, aren't mm. there? But the one in London has actually just moved. Yes, exactly. So mid-March, just a couple of days ago, in fact, it has uh, moved all its uh, passport operations to Docklands in London. So that's quite a distance away from the centre of London. And the concern is, could people who, who would think you could turn up in person to resolve this go to the right place um, to, to actually try and resolve their, their passport issues. All right, Sally, very good to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed. Travel journalist Sally 